Hey people, so I'm going to show you how to use magic cut and masks to hide the background of images, kind of like what I did here with Lando. I added a layer mask just with magic cut and now he's really all of his background is completely hidden, not visible, and I can swap out backgrounds. Um, even like this one right here, Janelle Monet, I cut her out with magic cut and a uh, mask. So I can really move her around independent of uh, any background that I choose. So let's get started. We're gonna just go to Photo P and make a new document. Uh, I like to use full HD. and So that's in the screen, you have to hit screen right here, full HD. Uh, name your project. Uh, it's a Kehinde Wiley project, so it's my name, Kehinde Wiley. And, um, and then I'm going to switch the height and the width so that height is all higher because I know that my image that I'm going to work with is vertical. Um, so these little arrow buttons switch the height and the width. Anyways, uh, hit create and you should have blank composition. Here we go. And you're importing the image that you want to work with. You want to make sure that you get a nice big image. And uh, you can see your whole person. So file, uh, once you get that image, you're gonna import it, go file, open and place. That's open a uh, layer or open an image as a layer. Let's see, I'm gonna find, here we go. Uh, and once you get that layer in here, you can uh, move it around. If you need to, you can always go edit, free transform, and then hold down shift while you're dragging to enlarge or shrink. Nice. So center it nice. Okay, place it. And then with that layer selected, we're going to use magic cut. So go to select and then magic cut. And it'll take a second to load, but this this is what the magic cut screen kind of looks like. And you're basically using green and red to tell the computer what parts you want selected. It does a pretty good job usually of doing it automatically. Uh, but you do need to like fine tune it a lot uh, or much of the time. So you can see like here it, it picks up this CVS symbol and that shows up on the preview. You don't want stuff like that, like the background you want to completely remove. So parts of that you want removed, you hit the red and you paint with the red. And then over there on the preview, it disappears. Um, so yeah, between her feet and the red carpet, I want to try to get rid of. Um, you know, most of the time it'll do, do like this like red outline around because it, it knows that your subject is probably not touching the edge of your image. So I might just complete that, go all the way around. And yeah, now we just have like in between her legs and uh, to make the brush size smaller, you can always do it here, but the bracket keys are a little bit more uh, helpful and quicker to use. So I'm just holding down the left, or pushing down the left bracket key to make my cursor smaller and the right bracket key to make my cursor bigger. So I need a pretty small. And you don't need to paint the whole image. You can just do like little lines and it, it does a pretty good job at uh, figuring out what parts you want selected and what parts you don't want selected. And keyboard shortcuts do still work. So you can hit the command or control plus the space bar, like zoom in um, and then kind of navigate around and see that there's little artifacts kind of left over that you can try to get with, uh, you know, the red, if you just, or by painting red around like the feet. Sometimes this works. Sometimes it um, doesn't work. And that's why we're gonna make a mask so we can kind of fix up these little artifacts around uh, her feet that are showing up. Um, but yeah, it does like a pretty good job of selecting uh, like around the shadows, you might end up with some some issues. Let's see if I can just hit red right there. See what happens. Oh, just a little bit better. And then like right here, we don't want that part. Oh, but that took away like her whole leg. So I'm gonna hit Command Z, and just a little tiny bit. Now I'm gonna have to, like I said, fix it a little bit with the mask. But um, let me see if that shadow will go away. No, it won't. I'm just gonna hit Command Z. Check it out. Try to make like the best selection you kind of can. Uh, but it, I'm gonna have to edit the mask a little bit. But yeah, it's done like a pretty good job already. I'm gonna be like a little bit around here. 
in her bag that I'd like to reveal. So I might the green. Oh, but then her legs go away. So let's try to paint back in a leg and her foot. There we go. That doesn't look too terrible. This part right here. Anyways, so I mean, this is pretty okay. Let me see if that, no, that picks up most of the background. Um, so once you get like a pretty good selection, um, even if, you know, there are little bits of your subject that you'd rather be in there and there might be like little artifacts. Oh, we can get her head. So let's paint her head and just put a line. Should do a pretty good job there. Okay, let's check it out. That's like not bad. Um, so we can fix up uh, the rest of this with the the mask. So that's what I'm going to do now. Uh, actually, I like to change the border down to zero if I can. Come on, zero. And um, yeah, hit raster mask. You don't want to do it to a new layer, or do a selection. You want to be able to like edit that selection because we have those little artifacts and imperfections. So I'm going to hit raster mask. Hit OK, and you can see uh, in the like layers palette right here, the the mask is selected. So we're gonna edit that mask in a second. But if your image is selected and has that white box around it, you're really editing the image and not the mask. Um, so you know you if you're editing the mask you want to be selected on the mask. Um, just so I can like see her a little bit better, I'm going to change my background color quick to uh, like a red or something, something bright or an orange. Okay, and then fill it with paint bucket tool. All right, so now I can like really see um, the parts that I'm missing and like the extra little artifacts um, that I'm gonna try to fix up by selecting on this mask, right? The black and white icon is selected. I'm gonna zoom in. And with the brush tool, right, and black and white. So this is a little icon next to your foreground background colors. You just click that. It changes your foreground background colors to black and white. And if you're trying to switch your foreground background colors, just hit X on the, the keyboard. And with the brush, black conceals. So you can erase or hide parts. And then white reveals. So use white to paint back in maybe the parts that you didn't get with Magic Cut. Right, and keyboard shortcut, the brackets, make your life a little bit easier and faster. All right, and so is that the end of her bag actually? So I'm gonna have to fix that. That's the bottom of her bag right there. This is the tedious part. It might take a little bit of time, uh, but it's worth it. You want to make a good selection and completely remove the background so that it doesn't look like it was photoshopped too terribly. All right. So, like, this should go away. I'm hit X to conceal this part. And then X to switch my foreground background colors. And X to switch it again. And this shadow doesn't really belong here. Don't be afraid to like zoom in and uh, you know really fix up your selection or your mask. So you want only what you choose to be seen. It's all about craftsmanship here, people. So take your time, make it good. I know sometimes you get this like kind of aliasing uh, stair step kind of effect, which isn't very pleasant. You might just want to clean up that edge. All right, so that doesn't look too amazingly terrible. For time's sake, let's go back. Um, so let's zoom in. Okay, this arm looks a little odd to me right here. Okay, and how's her pinky? All right. 
All right, and again, like I'm just switching back and forth between black and white to reveal and conceal parts of my image. Get around her hat. Okay, this is like this big shadow actually. So let's use black to conceal and try to tighten in. Get rid of this ugly shadow. Oh, here we go, here we go, we're almost done. All right, that doesn't look too terrible. There she is, Janelle Monet, masked out of her background. Um, there you go. And then it's basically what you need for our project. But, you know, it should open possibilities. Uh, you know, you can always import other images as backgrounds. And now she is not dressed appropriately for her setting. Let's go free transform and make this nice snowing scene for Janelle Monet. There you have it, masked backgrounds using Magic Cut.